right? I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean. Hear me out here. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. There is no condemnation in Christ Jesus, guys. No condemnation. John 3.17 says, For God, well, we know 3.16, 3, we know John 3.16, guys, right? For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. 3.17, for God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that through him the world may be saved. There's no condemnation. Romans 8.1 says there's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. None. Zero. So whatever I say today, I just rebuke a spirit of condemnation in this house right now in Jesus' name. I rebuke that spirit. I rebuke that religious spirit. I rebuke it right now in Jesus' name. There is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. Guys, God wants to do just a work on us. He wants to do surgery on us. As he's doing surgery on me, he wants to do it on us. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. I'm going to read this one more time. I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, he cuts, he snips, he snips, <laughs> he snips it so that it may bear more fruit. Amen. It's painful when God tells you something. Amen. It's painful. It's painful and it's beautiful. There's peace when he comes to you and he says, you know, you're, you're jealous. You know, you have jealousy issues. You know, you're, you're, you're jealous of your neighbor. You lust. Not, I'm talking about a lusting of the other, other sex. I'm talking about lusting after your neighbor's possessions, his gains, his worldly gains. God, if I'm blessed, how the heck am I here and my neighbor's over there? When he barely knows the Lord, I'm right now, and maybe he does, and I'm already judging the guy, so there you go, I got judgment going on in my heart, right? And he's advancing. How is this possible that he has all these things? God, if I had that, oh God, I would just do so much. I'd bless so much. God knows my heart, right? First Samuel 16, verse 7, or somewhere around there, he says, he says yeah, first Samuel, Samuel, I forget who it was, but he basically, God says, for, for, for man judges on appearance, but God, that's right, he searches the heart. He sees our heart. He knows what I do with that money. He knows. And maybe he wants me to grow in that, right? God wants to, to, to build faith, right? That's what, and I, I stand with, with Pastor Igor on that. That's exactly what was lost in the garden, faith. God came to restore that which was lost, faith. And what is faith? It's trusting. It's believing. It's saying, God, I, I trust you. It's believing in the unknown, right? It's hard, but it's real. And we know it because we, we know him. We know his son. Amen. God wants to rid every dead branch in our heart, snip it, and just watch it burn. And I believe that's what he wants to do here. Amen. I really do. I believe that's what he wants to do at Word of Life. And he wants to do it in this region. It starts in the church. It can start in an upper room like Azusa Street. It can start, you know, Wealth Street Revival. It can start with that with the young man. I can't remember. He was a coal miner around the age of 18 or 19 that started the Wealth Street Revival. He was a coal miner. He worked in the coals. He didn't, he, I mean, he was at the bottom of the bottom, guys. And then when this, when this man spoke, and sometimes he didn't even spoke. He didn't even speak when they had these revival meetings, kind of like the ones I told you about in those dates with D.L. Moody, right, in England, when he, he didn't speak. He just sat in the front and prayed. He said, I will not speak unless you tell me to speak. That's trusting in the Lord. That's the Holy Spirit using that man, right? He did not. There was no pride in his heart. As a coal miner who could be like, how am I stuck breathing in this garbage? I got black on my face, right? I got black on my face. I, my lungs are being filled. I mean, who knew? He probably didn't know that, but it's, it's awful. He's got to clean that stuff off at the end of the day. There was, no, there was no pride. God used that man. He was ready. He was ready. So he wants to rid every, every branch in our heart. And he wants to do this. He wants to do this in this house. He wants to do this in me. He wants to do this in you. He wants to do this in all of us, guys. He wants to do it for a reason. Because he wants to come. He wants to come. He longs to be with his bride. He longs to be with us. 
right? The, the spirit, what is it? The spirit um, yearns jealousy. I, I forget that, that, that scripture, something. Basically, the spirit is je- he's jealous. He's just dying for encounter, right? And where two or three are, and I don't know, guys, there's a little more than two or three are with us, you know? There he is in the midst of us, Amen. right? But it starts with a God cry. And all of my, you know, research that I've done, I, I didn't finish college, you know, but just some of the reading I did, some of the stuff that I did, revival starts with a conviction from the Holy Spirit. I can't do it. You can't do it. No, you know what I mean? It's got, the, the conviction's got to come. And, and then you, it's like a corporate kind of repentance, you know, or, or, or confession, so to speak, out loud, you know? And it's not, I'm not saying that we all got to confess and scream, oh God, forgive me. But, but God, there, there, there are things that are going on here. There are people in the church here, and, and, and like myself, that God has spoken to you. 10, 15, 20 years. I feel like someone with 20 years ago, they revealed something to you. They revealed something to you and you said, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll write that one down. And then you never dealt with it. I feel like God wants to snip that today. I feel like he wants to burn it today. I feel like the branches are gonna be clipped today. I feel like there's healing in the house and I feel like there's deliverance in the house. I really believe that. I, that was, I, haven't, I, haven't count, I haven't encountered God like that in a long time. That was a hot mess with tears rolling down my eyes next to Pastor Linda. I mean, God wants to do something Amen. here. Unfortunately, the problem is, is that we don't want to let him do it because it requires us to work. That's right. Amen. And I'm not talking about that worker's mentality that I mentioned before, guys, that will get our mind off of God and causing us to do it ourselves, but working from the heart on the heart. Working from the heart on the heart. This is, I think, and I am not a master at this by any means, but I got, this is like the hardest thing. It really is. Like, oh God, you're working from a place of love. God has impacted your heart. You have a spirit living inside you. You know, you, your, your soul is redeemed. I mean, you are, you're gonna spend eternity. That's it, it's time. But there's stuff there and it's like, you gotta like somehow work from your heart, like on your heart. I mean, my gosh, that's really, that, that's challenging. But he wants to do it today. And he wants us to grow. And we do as well. But we want to do it our way. We don't want to do it. Or we don't want to do it at all. We want to do it our way. Guys, sometimes someone's going to speak a word. And he's going to say something. And it's always encouragement, by the way. You know, that, that old, old prophecy of, of the old prophet of speaking like something bad or death. Don't ever receive that. I'm just going to say that. Off. Uh, uh, quote me. Put it on YouTube. Whatever. Don't receive it. Okay? Okay? It's, uh, the, the word is spoken for encouragement. We're going to encourage one another. Bless one another. Love one another. Oh, body of Christ, it's great. We love each other. I mean, come on, guys. I, you don't know me that well. I don't know you that well. But, dude, I want to hug you, man. I, I don't know why. I, don't, I, just, I just do. I just, I just want to, like, I want to, uh, you know? <laughs> you think I'm weird. That's fine. I don't care. I think I'm weird. So, so I'm, I'm just going to wrap up with this. So the Lord, the Lord spoke that. Um, after, after Jamie and I had this conversation, after, after Jamie uh, you know, basically said to me, hey, I, I want to uh, have you come and share. And I'm like, okay, you know, right away. As soon as I got the phone, I said, Holy Spirit, what do you have? I was mopping floors, by the way. I'm just mopping floors. And I just said, Holy Spirit, you know, what do you, what do you have for this church? Okay? And this is what he said. He said, they're coming to church with their problems. Now, right away, right away. I was like, what? They're coming to church with their problems. <laughs> what is the better place to come to church than with your problems? This is the best place to come, right? There's healing in the house. There's healing. And then he started downloading things. And he started revealing things. And he started saying things. And he started saying, and it's hard for me to remember all of them, but he just started saying things. He started saying that there's, 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 there's even bitterness. And I, I don't say this in condemning guys, but there's stuff in our hearts and, and God wants to burn it. He wants to burn. He wants to cut every branch. He wants, to, he wants to break every chain. Every chain. Every chain. Whether it be pornography, whether it be uh, lust of some sort, a spirit of lust, whether it be whatever it is, he wants to do it. He wants to do it, guys. You know? The question is, do you guys want to do it? So, I don't know. I, I'm just going to open up the altars. I don't know where Danielle is, but... but uh, but I, I, I just want to pray. I, I just want to pray. 
I'm going to pray myself. Like, I'm just going to pray. I want, I want this pride out of my heart, guys. I want it out. I want to grow. I want to grow, right? And I want them to come. And I want to, I want, I want to, it's done on a corporate level. So I'm just going to pray right now. And guys, if you feel led, you don't have to come up front. There's none of, none of that. If you want to come up front, come. If not, sit in your seat. If you want to go outside in the front, go outside in the front. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. God sees your heart. And he knows it. He sees your heart. He sees your heart. He sees your heart. He knows every detail about what you're going through. He knows your struggle. It's okay. He knows your struggle. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Holy Spirit, I just pray that you come right now. I just pray that you come and you speak to us. God, stretch out the ten pegs of our heart right now. Guys, you don't even have to look up here. You don't even... It, uh, just close your eyes. Keep them open. Whatever. It's just focus in right now on Him. If you don't know Him, if you haven't accepted Him, why not today? Why not? Why not? You might have been running from Him for a long time and people are beating down your door to come to church. But if you confess with your mouth and you believe in your heart, then you will be saved. God, ready our hearts right now, God. Ready our hearts. Lord, there is nothing better than being with you. And there's nothing, there's nothing more frightening at times than when we sit with you and you start to reveal things, things that you want to change. But you, you do it because you want to bring increase in our lives. You want to bring change. You want to take us to another level. You want to take us higher. God, you want to download more of your heart, which we can't even fully get a hold of here. But you want to bring it. You want to bring more. You want to reveal more. You want us to grow. 